Now, from your weather authority, here's Chief Meteorologist Dan Smith. Well, at January, wildflowers are looking rather nice, aren't they? This photo is taken by Dennis King, really highlighting how uh, nice it has been periodically here in the Concho Valley. We've had our ups and downs certainly this winter, but welcome to West Texas, I suppose. Really nice shots being seen here. And uh, speaking of the color being added to the Concho Valley, you got really, really nice sunset that we had earlier tonight. Again, all those thin high clouds putting a nice accent on that. Mind you, we are going to have at least one more day of as warm temperatures as we had. We cracked the 70s tomorrow, about similar. We are still looking ahead to that weekend cool down, though. 49 right now, and it really doesn't feel all that bad because there isn't a whole lot of wind. It's light jacket weather, I would argue. Satellite and radar still has these more or less thin high clouds starting to come in, but you've got more uh, to play around with here. I'm thinking southern counties are going to be mostly cloudy to start the day tomorrow. However, the fog I don't think is going to be as much of a risk. There was a dense fog advisory around this time last night that was issued, and pretty much that uh, fog just persisted down there. And part of Ozona, Sonora, I know, had reported even around 8 or 9 o'clock uh, that early on in the evening. So, while we aren't expecting that because we're starting to ramp up the winds a little bit, you notice there's this little bit of a front that's practically draped right over us. It is very, very weak. I couldn't even see a little bit of a wind directional change here, let alone the wind speed that sometimes heralds the uh, front coming in. The real system that we're looking at, though, that's going to be coming in later on tomorrow night, that's going to crank up the wind. You're going to feel that from the north, and in turn, it is going to be delivering a little bit of a chill in the air. Now, 72 degrees for today's high, that felt nice. 37 for the morning low, not that far off of average, of course. And we have about a third of an inch for rainfall so far in. 2019, but holding on over from the record rains that we had had in the fall, we're still in excellent shape based on the drought monitor we see here. No drought being seen for what seems like the umpteenth day in a row. Uh, quite frankly, we aren't going to be getting a whole lot of rain I'm looking at in the next week or so. An outside shot at some isolated showers and storms tomorrow night, but I wouldn't really hold my breath. Futurecast wind gusts looking at this, though. We were going to start ramping up these wind speeds, as I said. Tomorrow evening, this is what we're looking at. Winds gusting uh, up 30 miles an hour, maybe even a little above that overnight and by the time we hit Saturday morning that's still going to keep the winds going and it goes away for a little bit on Saturday but that's also going to help us bottom out those temperatures um, about the low or I should think the mid to upper 20s for San Angelo and what that's going to do is even with what little wind we might have on Sunday morning it's not going to feel too pleasant. 44 for tonight, though, not too shabby, uh, pretty partly cloudy. Again, we should be about 10 degrees cooler than that figure. Now, tomorrow, 75. And again, that outside shot of some isolated storms wouldn't really bank on it, but 75 is going to feel nice even with that warm breeze coming in from the southwest. And your weather authority seven day forecast, there's a difference 53 for Saturday. And notice this uh, Arctic air that's kind of plunging across the Midwest, there will be in the next couple of days. It keeps shifting further east. We were initially thinking. And it was going to be the 40s for Saturday. It's looking a little bit better, but still 29 degrees for Sunday morning. Any wind speed you get on that, that might pop us into the teens for wind chills. Just don't go outside in the morning. <laughs> Tell the church goers that. Yeah. <laughs>